Hey guys, this is Paradox Ren and here from Chicken Tikka Gaming and we've got some brilliant news here today. Well, uh, so there's been a recent mod uh, from the Witcher 3 community, Nexus Mods and this is basically the Witcher 1 prologue which is ported into the Witcher 3 game. So this mod is actually pretty exciting guys and then I wanted to share it with you. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, yeah, so this mod is by ERXV, if I'm saying that right. Uh, so it's been fairly new, a couple of days back only. So it should be pretty good. And from what I see, it's absolutely brilliant. And you know, you might know from this point of time that I'm a big fan of the Witcher series and I would like to do more videos on these things. And uh, so yeah, I'll give on further instruction as we play this, play through this because uh, it's quite tedious to be honest. If you have a plenty, if you have plenty of mods, so anyway, without any further ado, let's just go on to this. So over here, I did manage to get a few of my old mods back into this Witcher 1 uh, prologue because the user didn't recommend using all these old mods here. Anyway. The Northern Kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering what had happened to the witchers. The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin, the year 1270, five years after the Great War. It's pretty cool guys because it gives me old memories of playing Witcher 1. Well not very old, I played it about 4 years back. Isn't this from the Witcher 2 or something? Because this hassle is very much from the Witcher 2 so... Correct me if I'm wrong but then I really think this is from the Witcher 2. I have no idea what happened there, guys. Wait, so is this a Witcher 2 on the Witcher 3 or...? I'm so confused right now. I'm really sorry. Oh, no nah, man, there's the Witcher 1 only. Yeah, because his opening scene is like that. All right. I have no idea where you've been. The important thing is you're alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave. Okay, so from what you can see, it's pretty dark. But then I'm really sorry for that because uh, a few of my mods have their own lighting effects in this. And then the mod author did not recommend a lighting uh, mod or anything like that. But then I just want to test out what are the limit of this game and then how optimized this uh, Witcher 1 True Love mod is. Anyway. This is actually pretty interesting because I really think that this one way to promote Witcher 1 because many people don't play that considering it's an old game. But then I really think you have to give it a try if you like Witcher 3 and the Witcher 2 because all three of them are brilliant games and then I couldn't really find any fault with it. I think the combat system because it was pretty basic and then uh, during the Witcher 2 was when CDP created their own red engine for the combat and all so I think we can't forgive you know, that sort of uh, errors for CDP because they were just starting off with the game right so anyway this is pretty interesting guys I'm so hyped for this. We 
were home. Leo, get Triss. Your time nears its end, witches. Enjoy things while you can. Oh, the Salamarians, if I'm right. Yeah, it's been a while, guys. Yeah, I forgot what happened in the first game. Oh, wow. It's actually pretty interesting because it gives that nostalgia feel, but then it's not so I bad as well. Repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always. Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm hmm. I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you are important. Girl. <gasps> Oh yeah guys, I forgot to mention, uh, do like and subscribe to our channel, we post regular videos, like, okay, we post videos on a regular basis, so, yeah, I'll try not to speak as much as possible during the cutscene because, it worked. Not bad. Take a rest. yeah, you what guys you need think, to girl? see the video as well, Is he ready for the path? anyway, so, hope you like what we post here, it does help us a ton, because, uh, you know, it's your guys support support that helps us grow the channel as well and then encourages the us to He's post more content. The professor promised 50 orange for every freak we kill. He's mine. Wow, this is really impressive guys. I'm just wondering how the mod auto did this because we got company. This is actually pretty pretty. Well, except the uh, lip syncing, which is pretty much straight away from the boss game. I'm shutting the gate. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. Oh yeah, I forgot that uh, Geralt doesn't have two swords, and I'm pretty sure all my skills will be gone from the Witcher 3. I mean, yep, definitely gone. Uh. Oh, okay. Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. So this this place are pretty cool, guys. Like the Witcher 3 exactly, except that this is sort of a quest mod for Witcher 1. Yeah, this, this play. Okay, so except the mechanics because if you run, those guys don't run anymore. Yeah, so it's pretty much Witcher One ported What's onto happening? Witcher Three game files. Yep. They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Oh, I remember this. One mean beast. I remember this. Savola, I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. They're coming up here. Get ready. All right, let's see how good I am this game. There's yeah. more. They're entering the upper courtyard. The one in glasses is the professor, murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Not exactly sure of the difficulty matters here. So it's just up, up for grabs. The professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. 
I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bells in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Esco, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits, though one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. Um... So, I have to go there. Can't go here, so we'll definitely here somewhere. Okay, so this is actually pretty good guys. Um, I suppose you head this way or Yep, definitely. Yeah. Challenge the Salamandra. Actually, die, guys. Oh, that was close. Uh, do I have any way of uh, healing up? No. I can't heal up the name, pretty much too. I like how they casually just stroll by. Okay, I I need some health, guys. Kill the bastard! You are challenged the Salamandra. Die, bastard! Wow. Come on, I need health. This is actually, I think that's a bug or something. Okay. Come 
I need something. Oh boy, that's pretty bad. Uh, just one bow is more than enough to kill me guys at this point. Okay. Yep, I'm pretty much dead here. Okay. Yep, here goes nothing. Kill the bastard! If I don't have health, I'm pretty much dead, guys. Well, hopefully, this is interesting for you guys because. It's a miracle you're alive. Uh, you could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. The professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, witchers. They're here to rob you. Trace, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts. I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Truth may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. Yep. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. Yeah, I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside and we'll be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll oh, be able to finally. Tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. Okay, I definitely need this. Uh, yep, let's see what but they are. That is follow. Very good. Okay, guys. So, yeah. So this is pretty cool because I'm able to relive those Witcher One days and with a pretty bad graphics and then pretty okayish combat, which is hard to. Is this your first real fight? Yeah, which is no hard to follow. Stay close. <laughs> Yeah, so this is actually pretty good because, uh, you know, this is actually a bit of a challenge because uh, I would have died definitely in the start without the swallow potion. And yeah, so this is pretty cool. Uh, Alright, so let's just get on with it. Not sure how much content I'll be posting uh, because I really don't want to bore you guys. I hope you guys find this interesting because I. Really, really, really love this game uh, and the Witcher one as well. So it's nice to see how these two are combined together into one package. Yeah, and and anything else I want to add? Yeah, sure. So uh, I uh, I have to say I, I don't even have words right now because this mod author has done such an amazing job of you know combining the two games and then making 
well fans of the witcher 3 enjoy the first game as well so hopefully they would play this prologue and then and maybe it might be one of you guys who are watching and would play and then have fun with the witcher 1 as well so um, okay i did let's go I did. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher. But I managed to get you in training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away. I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall. And then he beat me. Oh, buddy. I know. Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. Okay, so it's really dark here. Kill the bastard! Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm pretty sure this is dark for you, boo. I'm not sure how it would be to endure it. Yeah, and the model that said save wouldn't help me, so there's no point in me saving. Quick to the laboratory. So that's the only reason I'm, why I'm not saving any of this. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, so I do have brutal blood. I think you guys know that mod, so that's pretty cool. Because uh we need to get to the lab. Yeah, yeah, we're going there, so... These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. Anyway, so as I was saying... Uh... The yeah, the mod author did not recommend... Elements is enough to stop the witches? You tremble, yet you complain Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us. We're cut off. The stairs are blocked. The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. <laughs> Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. Yeah, so the mods I have in this are Brutal Blood, uh, HD Textures, Re-Engaged, and the... Oh, yeah, so this this might be a little surprise to get. I just want to try Success? it. Success? Yep, it works. So, yeah, we'll so we have the Geralt mod as work. well. Let's get so, back yeah, I really don't think why I didn't try it out before. 
I really don't know why I didn't try it out before. That go. So they were saying I was able to add a few mods as well, and so far I haven't noticed any learn? glitches. The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake, but you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Yeah, Don't panic, should. Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Fezimir, if <laughs> that idiot doesn't shut it off. Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. Good idea. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir, I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. Okay, so yeah. So this is the first choice. Um, so do we go get the Frightener? Okay. You know what? I just wanna get him up. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go. You'll go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart. A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic light is about all he can muster. <laughs> go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will make me stronger. a truly powerful sorcerer. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through that strange circle. Savola's eating dirt. That's what matters. We need to help Triss. Let's go. All right. Yeah, so the reason I picked the lab was when I played the Witcher 1, I picked the uh, Frightener. So that's why I wanted to do this. They're ransacking the laboratory. The other what? Pages. I
I found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. So yeah guys, so far it's pretty Are good. Witches can parry bolts in flight. Yep, we can. Do you have that skill? Not sure. What happened? Smashed ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witches, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Meditation. Actually, guys, so uh, if any of you have actually played the Witcher one, just watch this and then go back and watch the Witcher one gameplay. Like, you'll definitely see a like. I, I think it's pretty obvious, but then As the amount of improvement over Chris here is, is simply breathtaking, guys. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Care Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss will hear when she wakes is finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. So yeah, guys. Um, I forgot. I completely forgot what I was saying. But then... Yeah, it's I, yeah, okay. So, if you guys, any one of you, have played uh, you know the Witcher one, I definitely think you should. Uh, yeah, just check it out and compare these two. Uh, I'm not that good with comparison videos. I've not yet figured out how to edit them properly, but you know, in due time that should happen. But uh, until then. We'll have to you know, stick with what we have, just gameplays. And anyway, so I know this is a big jump from Witcher 1, but then the amount of. I have absolutely no idea. I can't even guess how the moderator did this. Because. Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, if CDPR could release a uh, Witcher 1 mod kit, like something what Bethesda did for Skyrim, this would be pretty cool because uh, they can essentially port the entire game of Witcher 1 into the Witcher 3 as a DLC as we saw here 
as well as the Witcher 2 as well because this could be you know something different but I'm not sure how it is maybe he just talked to the prologue because he had to use an existing land in Witcher 3 Geralt, there's something so, wrong that's what I'm suspecting no time to talk I need to make a potion for Triss you should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor grab some calcium equum from the evening hall look for white stones in one of the chests if you find any stragglers finish them we don't need prisoners the stairs are through that door I'd go but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire Where's the calcium equum again? In the evening hall, inside a chest. Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in a crate in the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons, you'll know it when you see it. Uh, Lambert, I have to tell you something. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. Okay, I'll find you later. Okay, so I need calcium equip. Yeah, I just got carried away with the looting procedures here. everything up So I think I'm just gonna go for the yep. Because I really don't think uh, all the other stuff matters. I really wish most of this prologue took, you know, someplace else. There's a lot of light and all. Yeah, but then not the game director, am I? Where are the lamper? Okay. What do you need? Done. I have the ingredients and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast and some celandine. Vesemir wow. will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. Oh. 
Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, <laughs> Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Thank you. Okay, that's a uh, bug I did not expect. Hold on. Yep, rectified. Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of the war with Nilfgaard. I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. You mentioned defending Kaer Morhen before. Yes, 15 witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, 23 witchers and 40 students called Kaer Morhen home. Too damn few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger born of disdain for witches, but no. Someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. Truer still, the fanatics could never have taken the fort without the aid of sorcerers, though they outnumbered us by far. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Walk around, Wolf. The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer, there used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. Any idea who attacked? No, but the mage suggests no ordinary bandits. We found pins adorned with salamanders on the dead. The symbol of their organization, perhaps? I sense hard times ahead. Okay, so... Are there other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all, but it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morhen, though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Okay. So, yeah. The plot is where Geralt has no memory of what happened. Because he had a huge, you know, someone, che someone was cheering a mob. And then his, he got amnesia. So that's pretty much it. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gall and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need Selendine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. We'll speak. Okay, so need to go and remove the claw from that right now. So this is like one of the simpler quests uh, in the game, if I remember properly. Yeah, so I am not sure how the frightener looked or how it's supposed to look graphically good because. Um, there is no Frightener in Witcher 3, so I have no idea how we model that. But anyway, that, that's the only thing which looks old gen compared to others. Yeah, so as I was saying, the mods I have are HD textures and then a lighting mod for Kaer uh, which is the Weedsman lighting mod. Yeah, so 
can see those shadows and the light bouncing on the surfaces that's the texture of the lighting there and I also have atmospheric lights uh, which gives the darkness for this game pretty much and uh, what else oh yeah so speaking of candles we have next gen candles I still have that and then of course the cape and hood well um, yeah but I'm I know the cape and hood is part of the Witcher 3 trailer but then you know it makes him look really good yes okay uh, you know to just save time I'll just uh, do this you guys can check out this mod later on and then get all the dialogue later on as well I have all the ingredients good now rest and prepare the potion according to the formula we'll speak okay so There we go. Yeah, so in the old game you have to meditate to make the oil or potion, so or rather to consume the oil or potion. In this you don't have to. And yeah, so but uh, guys anyway this is a different topic altogether, but then I just wanted to know if you guys found the Witcher 2 to be more tactical than the Witcher 3 because I showed it because you have to be prepared for all fights over there and then you have to consume the oil beforehand instead of just going into the fight and then expecting uh, you know just to pause the game consume the potion or rather not pause just uh, you know consume it while you're moving so yeah, so applying the oils were more tactical back then and this is more you know, just do whatever you want while whenever you're doing. Uh, oh. I hope this potion helps. Thank you, Geralt. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was <laughs> staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold, calling me big headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out, but I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. <sighs> Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Yeah, but if you guys remember how this looked in the first game, yeah, it'll make you laugh. Bro. Okay. Um... Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. Geralt, a pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens... Their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? So guys, yeah, uh, just to save time, I'm gonna do the same thing again. We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on then. It's 
gives a lot of wizardry vibes, doesn't it? We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal climate. Then I'll head east to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact you. Yeah, Dawn. so the subtitles need a little bit of tweaking here and there because I could find a ton of uh, mistakes there. But then, you know, uh, the mod author has done a brilliant job already. I can't I'll play gather just this on. I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't get out. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. <laughs> I'll see you soon. See you, Triss. This wasn't an open world game, so that is why they had had all these weird transitions. With I wouldn't say weird, pretty cool transition between levels. I mean, yep, two Z man. Did we get to play this as well. Anyway, guys, so, um, oh yeah, so I'll just announce them as we go. So, big thanks for 3D models and textures to Sir Kaffers, Holgar, Paul Scott, Scout Bro, The Crasher, and Sound, st sound Stuff to uh, Tulhu for tools, uh, and Messiahs for teaching them to him, okay? Armor for his tools, uh, okay. Our memer for his tools, uh, Tradian, Traderian for the Wolven Kid, and Sarkin for the original mod editor, and Kamehameha for help with the use and conversion. Okay, guys, so uh, big thanks to you as well, or congratulations, uh, ERXM, for doing this amazing mod and then making me relive Witcher 1 again. So yeah, hopefully you guys liked it as well. Uh, I plan to do more Witcher mods in the future and we'll see how it goes. So yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly tell how to install this mod. Um, so if you have any other mods previously there existing in your game, you it's better off to delete that because I had a ton of issues in uh, you know, making them all work properly, gelling them together, that was an issue. So. I had to create a backup of the Witcher game and then you know, remove all the mods and then reinstall all the mods again, like whatever mod were possible. And yeah, so there were conflicts, I was able to resolve that. So anyway, I'm just drifting on. So yeah, so the link in the description to the mod, go check it out. Uh, all you have to do is just download it and then extract it to the DLC as well as the mod folder in your game. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do is just create a backup of your save file because I'm not sure how much this uh, tampers with the save. Let's check it out. Okay, so it does not. Uh, okay, so it does not tamper with the save file at all. So because I have my previous save as well. Okay, guys. So this has been fun doing this mod, and then uh, hopefully you show interest to which Witcher one as well. Uh, that game is I think it's free on GOG right now. The enhanced edition. I'm not sure if it's uh, free now, but then it was free when I uh, took the game from GOD recently. So I think uh, that's it, and we'll see you next time in Chicken Tikka Gaming. So and yeah, don't forget to like, 
share and then subscribe to the video uh, it does help us a lot and then hopefully we can grow as channel grow as a channel and then you know make more content for you guys all right see you guys uh, have a fun day until next time